the socialist nation, North Korea. One of the world's last dictatorships in a corner of Northeast Asia, controlling the northern half of the Korean Peninsula. A quarter century after the end of the Cold War, South Korea and the United States have 300,000 soldiers and state-of-the-art weapons on the front line to defend against the threat from North Korea. The 1.2 million strong North Korean People's Army is the country's ultimate power base. What happens inside the organization has been shrouded in mystery for more than half a century. Confidential files were leaked. They contained 12,000 pages of previously unknown information about North Korea's military. The contents shed light on the fragile relationship between the country's dictatorial leader and the military, as well as the real aim of the North's nuclear weapons development program. North Korea one of the world's last dictatorships is a byproduct of the Cold War. Kim Jong-un assumed the top post of the Workers' Party of Korea in his 30s and established a tight grip on power. In his speech this day, he expressed hatred for the U.S., the country's traditional enemy. The confidential files taken from North Korea's military were leaked in 2014 in Taiwan. It all started when a North Korean military official contacted Japanese experts and urged them to buy the internal files. Our crew was allowed to accompany the experts on condition they remained anonymous. A man who claimed to be a trading company executive working for the North Korean army showed up in the restaurant chosen for the meeting. In the hotel room, we were able to talk in private. The North Korean side gave us a flash drive. Experts on the North Korean military checked the contents. Military personnel risked their lives to get these files out of North Korea. They were given the promised sum of around $25,000 in yen and dollar bills. The flash drive taken from the heart of the North Korean military contained about 12,000 pages of data. They included confidential information about the nation, such as top secret orders by the nation's supreme leader Kim Jong-un and updates on missions.
We asked experts on North Korea, including former intelligence officers from around the world, to analyze the files. Roger Cavazos worked as an intelligence officer for the U.S. military until six years ago. He said there had never been such a massive leak of confidential documents from the North Korean military. This is not the theoretical North Korea. This is North Korea as, as it actually exists. And these documents are what the North Koreans tell themselves. So it's really getting, it's, it's really helping us get a much clearer picture of what they're doing and how they're organized. We visited Moscow to show the documents to a Russian expert who has maintained friendly ties with North Korea. Georgi Torolaya. He served as a Soviet diplomat in Pyongyang at the height of the Cold War. He has a strong relationship with the North. Some kind of, you know, information on the March plan for the for the walk of some military union. Maybe there's something interesting. Документы они кому-то еще показывали в других странах. А кто в Америке? Кто в Америке? Имена какие-то есть? Ты... Америка, Дарин, Дарин, Ну интересно было бы взглянуть, если можно копию получить, то было бы интересно а, посмотреть. Ну, тоже Пески, если что. Давай, Хорошо, давай, давай. The confidential files were created between 2010 and July 2013, the time when Kim Jong-un was consolidating his grip on power and establishing himself as the country's dictator. They included a top secret list of senior military officials and blueprints of military facilities. It was determined authentic because no one outside the military would have access to such information. A team was launched in Japan to analyze the confidential files. Leading experts on North Korea joined the team. Takashi Sakai worked at the Public Security Intelligence Agency for more than 30 years. Part of his job was to analyze North Korea's power structure. The files give a more or less complete picture of how Kim Jong-un strengthened his grip on the military and established his leadership. Professor Masayuki Suzuki has been studying North Korea's political framework for 40 years. Roger Cavazos took part in the project as a military consultant. The files were created using an operating system unique to North Korea. Several folders in the flash drive were impossible to open with conventional operating software. Cavazos attempted to analyze the files using special software. No, that's not it. The results of the analysis revealed that one person managed the files. That person's code name is YLMF. No email address, no text, no phone number, no contact information. Every document that I've checked, YLMF is always the author.
The name of the unit that had created the files was disclosed. Third Army Corps, Military Unit 235. The unit commands 12,000 soldiers and is located in Nampo, a town some 50 kilometers southwest of Pyongyang. located a former official who served in the unit. Che Hyun Jun is an advisor to the South Korean National Defense Ministry. Military Unit 235's mission is to protect the North Korean capital, Pyongyang, and to risk their lives for leader, Kim Jong-un. It's a momentous task. The confidential file contained information about a mysterious military operation. It was called Iron Wall. In anticipation of an airborne attack, we must prepare for conventional warfare and also put in place a system enabling the prompt launch of guerrilla operations. It was an astonishing defense operation to counter an attack by the US, a military superpower. We located several former North Korean military officials and analyzed the details of the operation with them. Based on the information in the files and the testimony of the officials, we were able to visualize the North's operations in detail, including troop movements and weapons handling. Kavazos analyze the operation from every angle. Details of the operation and satellite images led him to focus on some small islands about three kilometers in circumference, Ochondo and Sochondo. The islands some 60 kilometers due west of Pyongyang were the front line of defense operations. And then see, there's a building, and you can see these tracks. Those are not natural. Those are man-made. So this is probably a resupply point, and they're growing food for themselves. <laughs> but these are clearly, they've been dug out so that the gun can come out, and it can shoot this far. It can shoot out this range or this way. Uh, and see these, these clearings? Those are probably for air defense. In an iron wall defense, we would expect finally the army, third corps, before the forces get, or as the forces get onto the, onto the ground. If the US army lands, it will enter the command center. The soldiers' orders are to stop the enemy at all costs, even if it means sacrificing their lives. They're supposed to protect their position from an attack by the U.S. Army by making an iron wall. When the order is issued for the launch of the iron wall operation, frontline soldiers have to hide in a deep underground tunnel. Hello. 
We simulated how North Korean troops would move in the operation. When Supreme Commander Kim Jong-un issues the order in anticipation of war, a siren blares, along with the words, Storm 1, 2, 3. The first thing they do is take down pictures of the Kims. They have to be covered with cloth and stored in a safe place. They then rush to the tunnel to shield themselves from attacks by U.S. forces. Everyone runs at top speed. They have to get inside the tunnel within 15 minutes of the issuance of the order. They carry a backpack with battle gear, such as weapons and bedding. It weighs about 30 kilograms. Once inside the tunnel, the soldiers are given ammunition. Receiving bullets is no simple matter. Soldiers have to go down on their knees and beg the squad leader. The soldiers then load their weapons, counting the bullets one by one as their officer looks on. In wartime, each soldier gets 120 bullets. They load their weapons and wait for their officer to tell them to stand up before they sling the gun over their shoulder. The operation assumes there will be fierce air raids by U.S. forces. During the raids, North Korean soldiers are ordered to stay inside the tunnel without making a sound. They've been told what to do next. About 10 minutes of fighting would exhaust their supply of 120 bullets. After that, they are supposed to take on U.S. troops in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The squad leader says, we'll risk our lives to protect our dear Supreme Commander. Then others follow shouting, protect him, protect him. Next, the leader says, mop up the U.S. Empire and its puppet regime in South Korea. And the others repeat, mop them up, mop them up, mop them up. After the raids, U.S. troops will begin landing on the islands. But the North Korean soldiers on the front line have been kept in the dark about the U.S. military's overwhelming firepower. The upper ranks in the North Korean military know that they stand no chance of defeating the Americans. The North Korean forces are no match for them. But they don't tell the frontline soldiers how strong the Americans are. They know if they tell the truth, it would intimidate them and would lose their will to fight. They give the soldiers what's called frontline liquor, which induces hallucinations. So they will feel no fear and be heedless of their own lives. They will become like zombies as they face off against the powerful U.S. forces. The essence of a socialist state is to stand for a fair and just society. But the military operation to defend North Korea's supreme leader relies on a human shield. The confidential files shed light on what's going on inside the little-known Korean People's Army. They contain reports that suggest a precarious relationship between the North's leader and its military. 
absolute loyalty and discipline are supposedly strictly enforced within the military. But the reports revealed a series of infractions. In Regiment 290, there was a series of crimes involving guns, with a total of 786 shots being fired unlawfully. Some high-ranking officers have teamed up with illicit dealers and become involved in the drug trade. Food shortages are behind many recent political crimes. How is the acute lack of food affecting the North Korean military? Chon Minu led 150 soldiers in North Korea. He is still in contact with his former subordinates who serve on the border with China. Soldiers get cornmeal three times a day. 250 grams per person each time. One serving is set at 12 centimeters, measured with a special ruler. <laughs> Otherwise, salty soup and pickles are all they get. They are always malnourished. They have to steal to survive. They break into people's homes as they sleep. They rob wearing their uniforms. The acute food shortage is having a grave impact on soldiers' morale. Gas is in short supply, so a company of 150 soldiers can run only one tank during training. They set a distance and take turns to drive the vehicle. The other soldiers run alongside. Theft is rampant within the military, too. Some soldiers were caught selling gas they stole from military vehicles. They put water into fuel tanks to cover up the crime. Chon has received a series of items from North Korea that seem unimaginable. A senior army officer sent his uniform, a gift from Kim Jong-un. His asking price was around $1,000. A package from another contained military rank insignia, the symbol of a soldier's pride, along with a request for cash. People in the army will do anything for cash. It takes time to get hold of some items. They need to be on the alert for surveillance and wait for the right moment. Everyone is risking their lives. In the file, we found a surprising order from the Supreme Leader. He wanted everyone in the army to supply their own food.
Specifically, he ordered them to grow beans and raise goats. Everyone in the army, grow beans. Mobilize all your labor to cultivate bean fields and keep sowing seeds with all your strength. Raise one goat for every three army personnel. <laughs> Beans and goats are the key to improving military life. One senior North Korean military officer came to China to earn foreign currency. He had this to say about Kim Jong-un's grow your own food order. We had no bean seeds to begin with. We can't plant what we don't have. We were barely surviving. The young one Jong-un can't do politics, he should quit right away. If this dire situation continues, I think people will lose faith and riot. The secret files indicated how big a risk the military was becoming to the supreme leader. Cavazos, the military consultant, was beginning to notice the changing relationship between Kim Jong-un and his military. At this meeting, Cavazos showed a map of the North's defense units deployed around the country. The square marks on the map show the locations of the units. The triple A's are anti-aircraft guns. The yellow circles indicate their range. That's where the artillery, those are, those are some of the places where they put artillery. It's dug into, it's dug into the side of a mountain. <laughs> Cavazo says the map reveals Kim Jong-un's sense of crisis regarding the military. At the center of the empty space not covered by the overlapping yellow circles is Pyongyang, home to Kim Jong-un and his aides. The map reveals a regime on the lookout for a military coup. Cavazo says that from the map, he can sense Kim's fear that the 1.2 million troops of the Korean People's Army will turn against him. A military coup must be the thing Kim is most anxious about. The military is his chief power base, but also his greatest risk. Those are all internal dynamic politics uh, of Kim Jong-un and, and the Supreme Leader system. To strengthen power, he's going to keep grasping as long as he can. There are many things to indicate that the military was starting to move out of control, that the military was starting to act independently. Kim Jong-un is wary of the military's moves. He has grown attentive to how the military's weaponry is being managed, ordering each group to give him detailed updates on any suspicious moves. 
some 20,000 bullets not used in drills disappeared from an explosives warehouse. Weapons, bullets, and explosives are smuggled into Pyongyang. Visibly irritated by such reports, Kim issued a new order to all army groups. In the current situation, the security of the revolutionary leadership, the Kimdom, cannot be guaranteed. This is a crisis Take immediate measures. Probably the people who know about this best are Kim Jong-un and his family. But the lack of allegiance in the military is very serious. Remember Nikolai Ceausescu? The communist Romanian president was executed after his military turned disloyal and sided with the people. That's what the North Korean leader is most afraid of. In 2012, the year after Kim Jong-un took power, the secret files paint a vivid picture of how he tightened his surveillance of all army personnel. Here is an order Kim issued to the secret police and other groups. Establish a reporting system to keep the commander-in-chief informed of all moves within the military. Make sure I can hear even a pin drop deep in the mountains. Then the purge began. Che Hyun Jun, a former member of North Korean Military Unit 235, has this to say about the purge trials. The military conducts public trials as a show of power. In cases where the punishment is execution by firing squad, the accused is dragged out with his hands chained. On the stage, his insignia ripped off before he's tied up. Jay says fellow soldiers verbally abuse him, calling for severe punishment. Penalties vary, but even a petty crime often brought a death sentence. Public trials are designed to plant fear in the hearts of hundreds or thousands of soldiers. The purge began to target the top brass. What was really happening could only be gauged from releases noting the disappearance of people from public life. The unknown truth surrounding the purge of a high-ranking official has emerged for the first time. As an aide to the nation's young leader, Ri Yong-ho held a highly influential post within the military. Kim Jong-un ordered him to be purged as an anti-party, counter-revolutionary element who was disobeying the leadership. From that moment on within the military, the chief of the general staff, who once wielded enormous power, was called a bastard. The alleged reason for Ri's purge was that he had, at his own discretion and without Kim Jong-un's permission, moved a military unit that participated in a parade. 
There was a case in which a military unit foolishly took action under the bastard Ri Yong-ho's orders against the will of dear comrade Kim Jong-un. The military has no right to take any action without the Supreme Leader's orders, even if lightning should strike their heads or a bomb should go off at their feet. Kim Jong-un purges those close to him, one after another, to strengthen his power, just as Soviet leader Joseph Stalin did. Those in the North Korean military are treated most cruelly. The confidential files revealed another key issue that is a cause of alarm for Kim Jong-un. The influx of information from foreign countries turned out to be changing the mindset of his troops. Gaddafi was arrested by his own soldiers in the movement known as the Arab Spring. Shocking footage of a dictator being killed by his own men had been smuggled into the country. Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi was beaten and killed by his own soldiers. Those who watch these tainted images will be severely punished. The influx of information vexing Pyongyang can be partly attributed to a U.S. non-governmental organization. That's the National Endowment for Democracy, or NED. The group was founded during the 1980s at the height of the Cold War, with backing from the Reagan administration. In the name of assisting efforts to promote democracy abroad, the foundation still receives $80 million in annual funding from the State Department. I mean, let me, let me just note that historically, the, the, the NED has worked in many uh, dictatorships in closed countries. We support through broadcasting, uh, radio, and other forms of broadcasting with, you know, dramas, um, educational programs, programs just to explain what democracy, human rights, and market economies are all about. And some of them, you know, uh, try to get uh, information in through flash drives and also get information out. Funded by the NED, massive amounts of image data stored on flash drives have been sent to the North. Markets in the country helped such images from abroad go viral. Within the military, some 16,000 people were charged with secretly watching foreign DVDs and videos on flash drives. That's very serious.
Enemy states are strengthening foul plots to change and bring down our military from the inside. If our military personnel are tainted by the foul news spread by our enemies, our pure ideology and loyalty will be lost. In response, Kim Jong-un ordered the secret police to crack down harder. Public trials of people for watching foreign videos were held around the country to serve as a deterrent to what's called the ideology-corrupting non-socialist phenomenon. The influx of external information into the military caused considerable problems. Another flash drive containing confidential military information had also been leaked. The data included headshots of 300 military personnel belonging to a newly established cyber unit of the Korean People's Army. It was also sold for around $25,000 at the request of a foreign intelligence agency. The secret files obtained by NHK reveal the Supreme Leader's sense of crisis. The enemy is engaging in secret tactics using information. Secrets about the military are being leaked. At this rate, our nation will crumble like sand. Cavazos began to suspect that YLMF, who was in charge of information management at Unit 235, was involved in leaking these confidential files. This list shows the time the data was accessed from a computer within the military. Three fifty one, three fifty seven, four AM. The files were accessed during the headquarters downtime. And look at the times, 3.51 in the morning, 3.57 in the morning, 3.57. Again, these are just too close. There's no way he can open, have the power shut down. He's worried about he's going to get caught. <laughs> or he, or even for him, he realizes he's exceeding what he's, what he's normally allowed to see in his compartment. In 2016, under severe domestic and international pressure, Pyongyang openly stepped up its acts of provocation against the global community.
Kim Jong-un boasted of the success to his people and the world, declaring North Korea a great nuclear nation. In Moscow, a meeting was held to discuss this announcement from Pyongyang. In March 2016, a Russian nuclear expert returned after touring North Korea's nuclear facilities. Based on his analysis, the people at the meeting discussed the authenticity of Pyongyang's claim to be an H-bomb power. Russia is questioning North Korea's claim to have miniaturized a nuclear warhead. They probably didn't succeed. What do you make of Pyongyang's claimed success in an H-bomb test? There's no evidence to prove that. It's just propaganda. Why does the reclusive nation remain bent on nuclear development? In the secret files, we found a document describing Kim Jong-un's intentions. Owning nuclear weapons enables us to cut military costs while developing the economy and boosting our national defense capabilities at low cost. It's the most realistic path. Pek Soon-ju was a deputy chief of the South Korean military's National Defense Department when he received the first report of the North's H-bomb test. Peck recalls his analysis then of the true intention behind Pyongyang's announcement. In the face of economic adversity, the regime of Kim Jong-un believes the possession of a nuclear weapon is the key to surmounting military challenges, external pressure, and fear. Pyongyang is obsessed with the notion that becoming a nuclear nation will guarantee its survival. In the file, another objective was mentioned concerning nuclear development. Kim Jong-un insisted to his military that nuclear development was a necessary solution for domestic governance, which had grown shaky. If we strengthen our power and ideological education of the military, all army personnel will maintain high morale. We will be able to unite the homeland which is the biggest concern for our people. Professor Suzuki found a file that was separate from the confidential military documents. It was a letter-like five-line message that an individual had left for his family. Dear sister, please take care of our family. I miss their laughter. Lastly, please love my wife as if she were me. I am eternally grateful. The creator of that file was YLMF, the manager of the confidential files. This data was updated in January 2014, two months before the flash drive was handed over in Taiwan. 
Suzuki believes YLMF was one of those who risked their lives to leak the confidential files. I can feel the strong passion of the people who wanted to leak all these files. For how much longer will this system last? Can it survive? What are these people thinking? Those are the very people who leaked the flash drive. So, change is definitely underway. The 12,000 pages of confidential files revealed the real image of North Korea, which is light years away from the face it shows to the world. The files give us a peek behind the curtain at the inner workings of this reclusive nation. They portray the vulnerability of a leader as he struggles to rein in the military. This massive leak of classified information could herald further changes.